Two hours ago, Caitlin Markham's fiance, John Carter, was arrested and charged with two counts of murder in connection with her death. And Caitlin's father tells us this has been a long time coming since her story sparked national attention. A major development in a case captivating the community and family of Caitlin Markham. I want people to know that I'm so grateful and thankful for all of them um, who have followed Caitlin's story, who have helped keep it out there. The Butler County prosecutor confirming the arrest of her fiance, John Carter. He's charged with two counts of murder in connection with her death. News that's overwhelming to her family. And to be hit with this wonderful news today just really kind of knocked me over. Caitlin's face appeared on telephone poles across Butler County when she disappeared from her Fairfield home in August of 2011. As the days, weeks and months went by without a trace, search parties continued throughout the community. Nearly two years after her disappearance, her remains were found in April of 2013 in a remote wooded area in Cedar Grove, Indiana. I think a lot of people want to know the truth and the real story. What happened to Caitlin? Last month, a break came when Jonathan Palmerden, the best friend of Caitlin's fiance, was indicted on a perjury charge. It's for allegedly lying to investigators at some point during the investigation. And now, weeks later, her fiance, John Carter, is in custody and charged with murder. It's a piece of the puzzle, giving her father a little bit of closure. Or I just want to thank everybody um, for following Caitlin, for sticking with Caitlin, for keeping Caitlin's memory alive, for striving for justice um you know it, it's not just me who's been trying to keep her name alive and get this case solved and i did speak with john carter's mother on the phone right after this news broke and she did not have a comment on this right now we're live tonight in hamilton rachel hersheimer wlwt news 5